Hello, Instagram world, it's Sonia. Um, I decided to do a live because I went to my kickboxing class and it was full. So I figured, why not use this time in a different and productive way? So today, I want to talk to you about your spirit. And what do I mean by that? What kind of spirit are you? We, there are four different elements. Also, excuse my like nail polish. I really need a new manicure. <laughs> um, there are four different types of spirits. And we, these are sort of like the elements that show up in the world. We have fire. Fire is all about action, change. Um, it's that fiery energy to create and do and be out in the world. We have air spirits. Air is all about information. It's all about collecting information. It's all about communication. We have water. Water spirits and, and water is emotions. Water is meditation. Water is connection. And earth, grounded. And if we can really start to pay attention to what our spirit signature is, first and foremost, we can be a lot more compassionate to ourselves. And second of all, we can use that as a place to balance. And kind of it's like sort of like in that same place of self-reflecting, the more that we know ourselves, the more that we can set ourselves up for success, the more that we can pay attention, the more that we can pay attention to our intuition, notice how we get guidance. So let's talk about the four different types of spirits. First of all, let's talk about fire spirits. You are a fire spirit if you are somebody who is constantly on the move. This is your friend that is always running or like working out or doing all sorts of different things, are always trying new things. They love change. They love new experiences. They, they get energy from doing. You know, a fire spirit, you know you're a fire spirit if like sitting in a chair is something that just depletes and exhausts you. They're the people who are constantly being like, let's go, 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 go. Let's do, 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 do. And really use that energy to push other people to do the same. And so you're a fire spirit if you're the one that is like the life of the party that shows up in the room and it's like, let's go. And people are like, yeah. You're probably also the one singing karaoke. You're the one getting change, getting people excited. That's how you know if you are a fire spirit. Now, fire spirits are great, but fire uncontained can also burn us. And we can tell if we're a fire for a fire spirit and we're not contained is if we actually like don't have any sort of drive or energy or if we feel sort of depressed all the time because you know fire needs a direction to go in it needs somewhere to go and if we are uncontained if we don't have somewhere to channel that energy it ends up just depleting us second type of spirit and we also just really quickly we can also embody all of these different um elements in a sense it's not like we're all one or the other but if we can pay attention to like what our dominant one is you know that's important information second of all let's talk about air spirits you know if you're an air spirit if you are somebody who has a thousand books constantly buying books constantly on the internet constantly communicating with people always talking like talking so much talking people curious you're somebody who really loves to also like um uh, you love yeah you're somebody who like buys a thousand books for all of your friends and gives it to them you might not even read the book you just have the information finding information is something that is super important to you and when you're finding out that information it's it, and really trying to communicate that information there's also a place where you're extraordinarily curious you're curious about everything, you're curious about everyone, and are really wanting to know more. Now, our air spirits, at the same time, the thing is, is you can, it's like, our, the, the, if, if we have too much air, basically, that's that same saying of like, we're full of hot air. It's like, you don't say anything, you're not actually doing anything. Or if an air, or even people who are air spirits, even in and around your life, who like talk about nothing, like, oh, what? You know, what was, what did I watch on TV yesterday? And wow, that's a cool program and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, there's no substance to it. 
that is sort of the downside of an un grounded un, uh, especially an air spirit that's not connected to like their own feeling body you know air spirits want more and more and more and if you are really strong in your air element a thing that'll happen is a lot of times this is a big signature of that your head not only talks a lot but causes you to doubt your intuition it makes you think it's like i have to think about this i have to think about what it is that i'm doing or I have to think and and how that can cause us to not only lose the moment but lose our power lose our connection to our intuition so if you know if you are an air spirit pay attention to how much to sort of the quality of your words are you slowing down enough to connect to your feelings to how you feel about things you know air is head air is all of your head and the thing is, is you our head connected to our heart and using that same place of communication to share some beautiful information is the highest sort of uh, incarnation of our sweet air spirits so pay attention to things that you're saying how you communicate if you're gossiping like those are the things that can be the sort of not so hot part of an air spirit so next we've got our water spirits now water spirits those are the ones that sob in movies and feel things so deeply. And maybe if you're like talking to them about what's going on in your life and your pain, they might, they're just not only right there, but they might even like move their mouth with you. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like totally reacting and in it with you. Water spirits are the ones that are completely immersed, evolved, deep feeling, deep, deep feeling, emotional. You know, and the thing about water spirits is water uncontained is also a place where we can, where it's sort of where we sort of spin out, where we like, you know, it's like imagine water with no ground, you know, it's like with no container, it, it pools everywhere. And so if you're a water spirit and water spirits are not only are, are deep feelers, but they also need to have ground. So if you are an unchecked water spirit, I can definitely be a why I am a water spirit for sure. I am super emotional. I can cry all the time. And so I have to really pay attention to ground myself out. A lot of times too, when people, when you overly take on other people's energy, when you overly take on people's feelings or feeling responsible for that, that is the not so great side of being a water spirit. Or also at the same time, water spirits are quiet. You know, they can be really, really quiet because they gather alone. You know you're a water spirit too if you need alone time. If you're somebody who like also just like needs some space because other people are way too much. And the thing too about having our sweet little water spirits is that they also need um, uh, like quiet. So alone time, quiet, all these different things. So if you are a water spirit, the highest incarnation of that is really using that water to dive deep into people, but also not too deep. Of really trusting their own emotional thing and also of finding our own ground to not get lost in the emotional swirl of it all. You know, that can definitely easily happen. And our fourth type that we have is an earth spirit. Now an earth spirit is somebody who is like, imagine a rock that doesn't wanna roll. You know, they are the ones that are incredibly, if you're incredibly practical and grounded and like really love um, your, your, your bed, you know, you really love, and also you really love being of service. The thing about earth spirits is they love to do. They are the quiet types who, you know, the, who, who just show up by doing different things. They're like, here, you know, they've got the to-do list. They're the ones that'll make you food. They're the ones that will uh, make sure that, you know, the bills are paid, that all of the practical matters are taken care of. That is the intuitive signature of an earth spirit. So if you're somebody who's very grounded and likes to help to ground other people that's a big adjective that you would use an earth spirit is music extraordinarily grounded and holds a lot of space for other people and a lot of times maybe isn't that emotional you know like earth spirits and earth spirits too they don't like change it's sort of like it's 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 a it's a it can be a hard push 
to get that rock to roll. So if you're an earth spirit, pay attention. Maybe you probably need a little bit more fire in your life. You probably need to balance out that energy by doing and changing and creating and having that sort of balance. If you're an air spirit, you need a little bit of make sure that you have enough water pay attention to your emotional body if you're an air spirit and constantly talking make sure that you oh yeah you get back into your emotional body i feel like and if you're a fire spirit you know that's also where you definitely need some ground slow down pay attention and if you're a water spirit really Get that fire in you. You got to fan that flame a little bit to, to dampen and sort of evaporate some of that water as well. So all of us also contain little bits of all of this. It's not like all one or the other, but a lot of times we can see what our intuitive signature is, what kind of our, our spirit is. And it can give us a beautiful keyhole into how we receive our own intuitive guidance. You know, it's like, and how we can be more sensitive to that. And the way that, the more sensitive we are to our spirits, the more sensitive we are to ourselves, the more aware we are of ourselves, the more that we can move through the world with confidence, with, with grounded connection to our intuition, to our spirit. And also it's a really great way to be more compassionate to the people around you. It's like Joe in the office who always, you know, is talks to you all the time about all the different things. It's like, oh, he's just like an air spirit. So I can understand that that's how he uses a way to connect. You know, uh, Glenda, my friend Glenda, who I don't really have a friend of Glenda, but why not? Maybe one day I'll manifest her. Maybe it's a guy's name who brings me a thousand cookies all the time and pies and is constantly doing that. That's her love language. You know, she's the one who shows up and is a sweet little earth spirit. You know, it's like my, I have my, my, one of my fire spirits that I know very well is my cousin Simone. She is a hundred percent a fire spirit, always doing, always running, always doing all the different things. One time she brought me, we were in Colorado and she's like, let's go for like a little walk. And I was like, eh, okay, sure. But like, I don't feel well. So no. And she brought me up a mountain, like a two hour hike fire spirit. That is a fire spirit. That is the way that she shows her her love and and place of bringing people together, creating that energetic charge. And of course, water spirits. Water spirits will sit in it with you. Will be hold the emotional space. Will mirror you and and be and and just be in that emotion with you. That's how water spirits will also show up. So being aware of our intuitive signature is a, and our, to our spirit and the spirit of the people around us, pay attention. Even just at the grocery store, start to guess, what kind of spirit do you think they are? Like, and that's a really great way to not only become more sensitive to the energy, but to ourselves and other people. So I hope that you enjoyed my live video, uh, but I'll be posting it also on YouTube. Also check out my YouTube channel, Sonia Choquette Tully. let search it in the YouTube. There's all sorts of videos on manifestation, intuition, practical tools that you can use right now and also sign up for my newsletter it is a weekly spiritual lesson for free that you can start to use right now it's a video a week with tools that you can start using because you know that's awesome and more importantly if you need help book a reading with me book a soul a, a soul if you want to look for your soul purpose if you are having um, a, a, any sort of issues that you really need some guidance on, book a soul reading with me. If that's interesting to you, you can click and book a 15 minute free call to sort of get a vibe of my energy and see if we're a good fit. And if you're really trying to deepen your intuitive knowledge or have like a, a, a project or something that you really need some support on, whether it's manifesting, building your business, um, creating, healing book intuitive mentoring with me you know i have been mentoring i've been i'm a fourth generation intuitive i've been doing reading since i've been like 12 and i've been mentoring for over 10 years so uh you won't regret it and plus we're supposed to wear speaking like just like talk on the phone which i love okay anyway hope you're having a beautiful day i'm sending you all my love happy sunday bye